Oh my goodness, look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Tricky mission accomplished. NASA celebrates after deliberately crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid. A spectacle in space, and it happened millions of miles from Earth. NASA passes an unprecedented test with flying colors as it redirects the path of an asteroid. KKL 9's Jake Ryder is live in Playa del Rey to show us the motive behind this mission. And I really liked your tease there, Jake. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you did, Pat, because I enjoyed it myself. So this was actually a test that NASA ran to see if they could potentially defend against an actual asteroid coming toward Earth. And the first part of that mission was a success. Also, I want to show you something cool. If you step outside your house right now and look up to the sky, you'll see something very bright. That is Jupiter, and it's the closest it's been to Earth in 59 years. We've been planning for this moment. We've been talking about it for years. It's a moment they've been waiting 10 months for since the launch. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Dart. And a journey of 7 million miles for this. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh wow. And we have an impact. NASA's double asteroid redirection test, or succinctly DART, was a success. What does that mean for potentially applying this in the future? I mean, DART really is just the start. It's just the first planetary defense test mission. The spacecraft, the size of a vending machine, took aim at asteroid Dimorphos, the size of a football stadium, and crashed into it at 14,000 miles per hour. This galactic grand slam was humanity's first test of planetary defense, by knocking an asteroid off course before it could hit Earth. However, Dimorphos, nor the larger asteroid it was orbiting, posed any threat to us. We'll figure out how effective it was. That's really what we're going to learn in the next weeks to come. All right, we hit this asteroid. Now, how effective was that at deflecting it, and what would that mean for using it? We will spend the next months and years doing analysis, of course. Um, our job has just started, but it really looks just amazing. It looks, it's like adorable. It's this little moon. It's so cute. Something others might find cute, Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, made its closest approach to us since 1963 Monday. And you could see it with the naked eye. Neither the Earth nor Jupiter orbits the sun in a perfect circle, which is why Jupiter's distance to us changes every 13 months when the Earth is directly between Jupiter and the sun. Now, because this is so cool, we want to show you Jupiter again. This is a live look from the ground. This is as close as we can get to seeing what it's like up there. And you, too, can step outside your house and take a look. But back to the asteroid, the scientists impact say the impact should have carved out a crater and hurled streams of rocks into space. Now, again, they won't know these results of it of what it actually did for at least a couple weeks, if not months. Reporting live in Playa del Rey, I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL 9 News. Pat, back to you.